Hey guys, welcome back to another Z Code System video. And today we are going to talk about some NFL bet strategies. And we're going to take a look at two predictions for NFL preseason coming up on Saturday and Sunday. Go over to the Z Code System blog, check out all of the writing that we have up there where you can get some free picks that we post. And you can check out all the other information that is up on the website. So do that and uh, help yourself out when you are betting on sports this weekend. So we've got stuff there for NHL coming up uh, when the season gets underway in the autumn, as well as NBA, which is coming up in October. Uh, but right now you can check out some info on Major League Baseball, as well as some of the soccer that's going on. And of course, the NFL preseason, which we are getting ready to talk about. And uh, before we talk about those predictions that I previously mentioned, let's look at a couple of bet strategies. We've been covering these all preseason long as we count down to the NFL. So we've got a few more to give to you today to help you make money on the NFL this coming season. So here we are with our NFL Bet Strategies version 2.0. And of course, you can go over to the Zico System website and you can find all of our bet strategies there. You can read through them and get some great tips for this year and share them with your friends and tell them all about what we've got going on over at Z Code System. So let's take a look at these three bet strategies that I'm going to tell you about today. And as you can see, they are right there, right in front of you. And so let's talk about number one first, which is don't wager and don't bet on every game uh, in the NFL week. The idea behind this is you need to pick and choose the games that you want to wager on. Focus on games. Find those games, those key battles that are, are going to be good and good value to wager on and get behind those games rather than going out and picking winners for all however many games there are during the week. If there are eight games in uh, in one week of NFL action, don't wager on all eight. Pick and choose those games that you can find value in and that you can get wins in. So, for example, if you can only pick two games out of ten during the week, only go with those two games. Don't worry about those other games if you can't find that value or those key uh, edges that you need to win your bet. So be picky and choosy there. Now, number two, shop around. Find websites such as, and I put odds checker here because that's one of the ones that I like to use. Find those websites that collate the odds and can tell you which sports books give you the best value for a certain bet. So uh, you might want to shop around and find the best odds for the games that you're going to be wagering on because, of course, sports books, they're competing for your buck. They're competing to get uh, customers. So what you want to do is you want to find those odds that are a little bit more generous that these sports books are giving out and using to attract more better. So shop around. And finally, one that we all have to remember, and that's keep our emotions in check. And this is a huge one when it comes to sports bettings. You know, it goes all along with not really uh, not betting on your hometown team and that team that you love so much. Keep those emotions in check. Don't uh, start chasing the cash. If you start losing, chill out. Take a break. Uh, don't just start wagering to wager in an attempt to re-win money that you've lost. Losses happen in sports betting. So you've got to take that with a grain of salt. And one of the big ones is stay sober. You can't be drinking and, uh, you know, affecting your mindset when you're betting. You've got to treat this like a job. If you want to be a professional sports better, then you've got to treat it like a job. And you've got to think uh, about what you're doing um, and what you can, uh, you know, think about what you're wagering on and and. Keep a clear mind. That's one of the things that is very, very important uh, when it comes to sports betting. So don't be drinking on the job and uh, you know keep keep a clear mind. And there's a reason why the casinos uh, in Las Vegas and, and different places hand out free drinks is because the more you drink, maybe the more loose you are with your cash. So stay sober and that will help you with your sports betting for the NFL coming up this season. Now, 
Guys, let's take a look at a couple of games that I've highlighted for this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, in the NFL preseason. Okay, as you can see here, we've got the San Francisco 49ers going to the Kansas City Chiefs in the NFL preseason. This game is going to take place on Saturday. 49ers are burning hot. They are 2-0 in the preseason. The Chiefs 1-1. One and, one. and as you can see, they are averaged down. And uh, we can see that. Uh, we can see here that the Chiefs um, go in with a loss uh, on the back of a loss in preseason. And um, our score prediction from Z code system is going to give this um, a win here to the San Francisco 49ers 26 to 21. And um, I'm going to have to disagree with that. I think the chiefs are a little bit better than that. They're going to be playing at home um, over the weekend or the last game that San Francisco 49ers did play. There were some uh, reports of a poor outing from Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, not sure how much he's going to play uh, coming up over this weekend. And of course, not sure about Patrick Holmes, uh, Patrick Mahomes, that is, uh, with the Kansas City Chiefs, how much he's going to play. But as we inch closer to the NFL season kicking off, we are going to start to see more of these first-string players get a, a few more reps and a few more snaps and maybe uh, two, three series uh, coming up. So I'm going with the Chiefs on this one. I think the Chiefs will defeat the San Francisco 49ers. And as you can see, according to Z Code's model, the Chiefs are a solid favorite with a 59% chance to beat the Niners. Uh, but... Our prediction has gone with the Niners, but I'm going to go with that favorite of the Chiefs picking up a win in preseason. And we're going to look at one more game here before we go this week, guys. And we are going to look at the Sunday game, and that is the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Tennessee Titans. And uh, as I scrolled over that, you can see that Tennessee lost to New England Patriots last time out. They are 1-1 in preseason. The Pittsburgh Steelers are a solid 2-0 uh, in preseason thus far. Let's see if I can get that off there. Okay. And uh, the Steelers, they picked up some uh, two wins. And you can see there they beat the Chiefs 17-7, as well as the Tampa Bay Bucks 30-28. to And I don't see uh, I don't see the Steelers losing here to Tennessee. Steelers going to be a good team this year, a strong AFC Central because we've seen the Browns are – uh, rebuilt. They're they're they've improved. Sportsbooks really like their chances of winning the division. Baltimore is always a very difficult team to beat. The Bengals, eh? What about the Bengals? Uh, I think the Steelers are going to pick up a win here. The Titans, as I said, one and one. They're not uh, quite as improved or, or as strong as the Steelers. So my pick, the Steelers here to pick up a win, and I like that Z code system score prediction. I think both of these teams will put some points on the board in this game. So guys, check these games out. Check up out all the other VIP picks we have on the VIP wall and uh, use that to help you with your sports betting this year. You can go over to the Z Code System blog, check out some more information there. We've got some picks for two other games, uh, a blog I wrote earlier this week. You can check out the uh, the prediction for the New York Giants and the Cincinnati Bengals there, as well as a, a one or two other games on our blog. So, guys, we will see you next week here on Z Code System. So, good luck with your betting this weekend on the NFL preseason as we inch closer to that first game, first week of the new season coming up in September. We'll see you next time, guys. Good luck and good night.